Good morning, everyone. Uh, today, I'm not doing a video on like while I'm working. I I didn't record, but I did work, and I came up with this cool system for um, tracking the time. So we're gonna have like a time in my game, and I have like right now it's April, and there's different times of days. So it'll be like morning, afternoon, evening, night time check it out uh, I hooked it up so that it is dynamic and then back to morning and then you'll see the date changed um, and so this is a tester here in the bottom left uh, just to test it but you can see it like rolls over to the next month and then to the next year so that's what I did today um, we're done with stickers. I'm not working on stickers anymore. I'm going to upload a video so to reflect on stickers. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. This is all I did today is made a dynamic system for that. Um, so yeah, it's it's pretty cool. Uh, it is just an auto load calendar manager right <clears throat> global auto load for managing the calendar date and time of day it emits this signal anytime the date time of day or month or year changes I'm in an enumeration for months I probably could have done this a little bit better where it was like based on the numbers but that's fine by me so we have an enumeration for months enumeration for time of days um, these are irrelevant. This is just for me. Like if I'm ever like, oh, what time of day is it? Well, if I want it to be 5 a.m., it'd be morning. I don't know. Uh, the year, month, day, and time of day. These are variables. Um, I have custom setters so that you can't actually set year without calling this function. It's like a protective thing. Um, and the reason I do that is because when you set the year, I want to both set the year, but also make sure this signal gets emitted out. So this will guarantee that signal gets emitted. If we come back to the top. Um, so these are our variables. It's only four. That's all we care about. These are some functions that are going to be used for like interfacing with the manager that like maybe the level will call and say like, hey, this level is at daytime, morning, on this day. Or like, if you sleep in your bed, then I'll add one to the day. So we can call next day, we can call next month, set the month to the next month. It's just like, if it's January, then go to February. Um, and then if it's December, go to January, but also add to the year. And when you add to the year, since we have that custom setter, it will call the set year function, which will emit the signal. And same with month month will call the set month function which will emit the signal of date time changed so we can call these functions to set the day the month um, next time of day that's what this button is doing over here when I press this button it just does you know next time of day next time of day oh it's nighttime next day sets the the next day uh, function and next month does that function so those are the, the big functions we're really gonna be calling um, I have some helper functions to get the current date time string I think that is right here you can see it's starting the level name on April 1st 2005 at morning uh, <clears throat> these functions will probably be used by the UI actually I think they are used by the UI I think it just like prints it out nicely for me and then the time of day um, and other than that we just have set year set month you know pretty simple set day if the day is greater than the days in the month um, then I reset day to one and I go to the next month because like you know if if I'm like all right go to the next day and then it's like 32 days in January it's like that's not right so it goes to February, sets day to 1, and then it's like, okay, now it's February 1st. It's not January 32nd. Um, yes, set the time of day. Cool. Um, I have this private function. It's not really private. 
it's just if we put an underscore in front of the functions and then you try to call that from another class somewhere else in the code somewhere else in the project and you if you're calling this function with an underscore on it you're gonna be like hmm that doesn't look right and it shouldn't look right because this is supposed to be a private function that only I can call which I'm gonna start doing this more this way I can sort of limit the number of functions that can be called from other classes and that way it'll help organize my code a little bit better so I'm not like chasing everything around so anyways this just gets the days in the month you know 31st in January 28th in February uh, get month string it's just giving the string for each month uh, I also have abbreviation so it'll give like Jan instead of January if you want and then time of day just gives you the string and that's pretty much it um, I guess I could show the dynamic day test level this is the test level but here in my dynamic environment I have uh, it's pretty much just this it's just an environment I have a morning environment and I have if I quick load what's up here if I quick load you'll see I have an, a morning environment and a night environment I still have to come up with an afternoon and evening environment but um, you can these are the two that we can toggle between and then as a child of the environment I have the morning directional light but I also have the night directional light too which is like darker it's like a darker color you'll see this one's like a, a lighter color so so yeah this function at the top it's a world environment uh, pretty much I just have in my file system I know where my morning and night environments are and then I have my morning light and my night light I still have to make afternoon and evening uh, the current light is just gonna be whichever one is the child uh, so when this function or when this when this dynamic environment is added to the scene it'll call this ready function which we hook up the date time signal to a, a function that we can call later which will do stuff um, and then we find our current light so since our current light is the morning directional light we just look through all the children if if it's a light then we say alright this is our current light set the child as a current light so that we know this is our current light and then I run update based on the date time on initialization and the reason I do this is because if you go into the level and it's like already nighttime well we have to do stuff so pretty much when the level starts up when the level starts up it loads everything calls this ready function and then it's like oh is it nighttime okay yeah let's make it nighttime and you can see that working here um, if I go back to this level you'll see oh it's nighttime so make it nighttime and then if we set it to daytime go back it's like oh it's daytime all right cool <coughs> so in this function that runs every time the daytime is updated from the auto loaded calendar manager from project settings auto load calendar manager uh, you see it's enabled pretty much you know what auto load means it's just it's available at all times it's a singleton so anytime that is updated we check out the time of day that the calendar manager has if it's morning then we set the environment and then we replace the light to the morning light if it's nighttime we reset the night environment replace the light to the night light and then this replace light function takes in the packed scene which is just you know loading a scene you see it's a dot tscm so we load it as a pack scene and then uh, we replace the light so we pass this in then we this is cool I just learned this we can do a, a weak reference and then check to see if that it reference is valid right so normally you would say like if current light equals null then you know return don't do anything or or just add it or whatever basically you want to see if this thing exists before you call any functions on it you know because you can't queue free nothing that'll be an error that'll like crash your game but the way this works is 
<clears throat> when you come in here, and if this has already been deleted, you'll have this reference. The reference will will be pointing to something that got deleted. But I think the way the garbage collection works, it like doesn't actually clear it out or something. So it somehow manages to pass this check. And then when you get down to, if this was commented out, if you get down to here, it'll say, oh, you're trying to call functions or you're trying to get the transform of something that was deleted already. It'll say like, this was previously freed. And you're like, oh, I just like, I just checked to see if it's null. But apparently the, the right way to do it is to do a weak reference. And the way this works is thing objects in Godot are reference counted. So by having this reference, even though you queue free it, you still have a reference to the previously freed object. And so that kind of like keeps it alive a little bit. So instead of doing that, we can just do a weak reference, check the weak reference to that, um, to that reference, right? You like, you create a weak reference to that reference and then see if that's like valid. Um, this is this is the documentation for it. Uh, but basically, you just see if it exists still. And if it does, then you can do stuff. So pretty much, this is the way I'm doing it for now on. Anyways, back to the code. So when we call replace light, we're like, okay, we want it to be this scene. We just check to see if this exists safely. And then I copy the transform in case I put like a custom transform on it. Um, then delete the previous light, create or spawn instantiate the, from the pack scene, the new light, and then add it as a child of the environment and then set the transform. So that is how I'm able to do the night cycle, which is really cool. So yeah, this is a cool system and, uh, gonna keep working on it a little bit I'm gonna add seasons and then hopefully like trees when it's like fall they'll turn orange or like if it's winter they'll turn like white leaves or something I'll try to come up with like some dynamic system for that so maybe I'll do that tomorrow but yeah pretty excited thanks for checking it out yeah